Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Hannah, and today I'm going to give you guys an updated um, house tour. We've been living here for a little while now, so um, I thought it'd be perfect time to go ahead and give you guys this up updated uh, double wide mobile home tour. Um, I just got the house cleaned, so let's get to it. Okay, to start off, we're going to start off outside here. Um, I'm just going to kind of like show you around the outside of the trailer and then I'll take you inside. Here's uh, the front of the house. I do have our Halloween and fall decor out, but we finally got um, our block put under the whole house makes it look a lot better. Um, we're going to eventually make like, not a full porch, but um, a little, like something bigger than just the steps there. The girls put some window cleans on the door there, but for Halloween, but Got the goats and the chickens over there. Old Mabel likes to yell at me every time I come outside. There's this side of the house. Now here's the back. Um, it doesn't look the best back here, I know. We're, we gotta. We're gonna eventually build a deck out here, and. Um, that's, you know, obviously where we'll have the grill and all that stuff. But for now, we're just having to um, leave it all sitting right here beside the house in the back. Here's the back of the house. Finally got some steps back here. So now when we come home, um, we can go in through the back door and go through the uh, laundry room. Instead of having to go through the front door and go through the living room and all that, which I really like a lot better. The dogs have destroyed that uh, wicker chair. They've chewed on it. There's Teddy. You guys haven't seen him in a while. There's Dixie. Um, Dixie is an actual is actually a full time outside dog now, um, and she's actually liking it out here. So I don't mind her being out here full time now. She loves playing out here with Teddy. They play pretty much all day. But um, I'm gonna take you inside now. We're gonna. This is the back door. I'm gonna take you in through the back door, and um, so we'll be when we go through the back door, we'll be right into the laundry room, and then I'll show you the rest of the house. Okay, so walking in the back door here, we are walking straight into the laundry room, which has been really nice being able to walk in here without having to track mud all through the house if there is any mud or anything like that. But we keep our extra food storage in here um, just because we don't have, um, we have room in the kitchen for a lot of things, but we just don't have enough room for the food. So we like to keep that as like a kind of like a little pantry type deal, I guess. But um, we have a lot of room in the kitchen, but it's mainly filled up with like our dishes and appliances, which we don't really have a whole lot of either one, but this has been working out really nice the way it is. I like to buy some things in bulk, so um, it's really nice having that shelf in there to put some of that bigger stuff on. But I'm really loving this island. It has come in a 
really handy for all my baking and everything. I love to make homemade bread and uh, sourdough cinnamon rolls. So it's coming in really handy rolling out the dough if I need to or whatever. I've been really loving this kitchen. And we also uh, bought a deep freezer, chest freezer, whatever you want to call it, to add some storage for the freezer, which has come out really handy. So now moving on to the living room that's right beside the kitchen. And um, we just rearranged this. You'll see in my cleaning video that's going to go up Friday that the living room is actually um hasn't been moved yet it's with the couch in front of the window still but right before I filmed this we moved the living room around and it actually makes it a little bit cozier in here um I'd like to get new couch and stuff um for the living room but but for now we're working with what we got <laughs> until we can afford to buy a new set and now walk in straight from the living room to the back of the house this is um the master bedroom. We uh, did get a new bedroom suit in here when we first moved in. Um, we were really needing one, but, um, and we passed our old bed down to Weston so he could have a bigger bed. But this room is, it feels huge compared to our last one. And that's what a lot of people say when they come in. They say this bedroom is huge. <laughs> it's really nice having this much room in this house now. You've seen Amelia on the bed playing Minecraft. That's their favorite thing to play. And then here is the master bathroom. I really like the space in here. You don't feel so cramped up when you come to the bathroom and more than one person can come in here at a time. But we added this little bookshelf I got um, from my mom. It actually used to be my grandmother's. And we got it to put over here for extra storage space. Because under the sinks is kind of like a really narrow, small space to fit things. So we got this little bookshelf to add um, some towels and different things on. I'd like to put some doors on the shelf though. Like just on the bottom shelves and then leave the top shelf empty. And maybe put some really pretty clear jars like mason jars or something to store stuff in. But this is the master closet. It's really nice having this big closet as well. Um, we're able to fit as all of our clothes in there that we need. And plus have extra room for other storage things. Now I'm just walking back out of the master be bedroom into the living room. Little willow there. Now we're going to walk straight to the uh, other side of the house. We're going to the hallway now. You see, I flipped on the wrong light switch, so I'm going to have to flip the other one on. But Here is our guest bathroom. This is a five-bedroom, three-bathroom uh, mobile home. And so we're using this extra uh, bathroom as just our little guest bathroom. little it's a little tiny but it's big enough you know for what you need it for a shower a toilet and a sink okay and then directly on that same wall beside the bathroom the guest bathroom is um the extra bedroom we had so we made this into a computer room and so this is where all of our um my well my youtube uh editing videos and all that goes on we got the treadmill in there which we're trying to get rid of but it's in here for now and this is also our homeschool room um amelia does little preschool homeschool and she'll be doing actual kindergarten homeschool next year and weston is going to be in 
uh, homeschool next year too as well and he'll be in second grade there's the closet i need to add some sh more shelving in there just to um get some stuff off the floor but now back in the hallway there's a little um cut out over here on the right side that leads to two other bedrooms and uh, the other bathroom we're gonna go straight into uh willow's room next the kids have been loving having their own rooms which i mean weston did have his own room in the old house the girls shared, but they love having their own rooms, and but they also, I think, miss sharing a room because Amelia is always asking to come in here and spend the night with Willow sometimes. But she's got a nice, good sized room. She loves playing with this little kitchen here. That's actually for all the kids, but she's the one that plays with it the most. So I was like, well, I guess we better just put it in her room. And then over here is her closet. She does have one of the smallest closets. Um, it's not a walk-in one, but it holds her clothes and extra storage. So that's all we need. Now we're going to go back out to the hallway and we are um, going to go to the kids bathroom now. They all three share this bathroom because, well, I mean, if you have kids and you know, they get the bathroom pretty messy, especially with toothpaste everywhere. My kids are the world's worst at getting toothpaste all over the bathroom. But, um... So we try to keep it all contained by letting them all share this one bathroom. I mean, they can use the guest bathroom and stuff too if they want, but for all their toothpaste and everything they need for the bathroom, we keep it in there together. Now we're going to be moving on to uh, Weston's room. This is right on the other side of Willow's room and uh, the kids' bathroom. He's got himself a good sized bedroom as well. And like I said, we um, gave him our old bed and he is loving having a bigger bed. It's a queen, a queen size and he loves it. We gave him the dressers and nightstand and everything that came with it. I've still got um, his signs, like his little horse picture and everything to put up in his room. I just need to go to the store and remember to buy nails. Because <laughs> at the moment, I don't have any. That's why nothing's put up. But he has uh, got a really good size closet. Um, it's walk-in. Him and Amelia both have out of the kids' uh, bedrooms in the computer room. Him and Amelia have the biggest closets. Because they're the bigger rooms. Alright, now we're just going to be going back out to the hallway. And then at the very end of the house, down here at the end of the hallway, is um, Amelia's room. So that's where we will be going next. Like I said, she's got the other uh, biggest rooms out of um, the kids' rooms and the uh, computer room. It's really good sized. She got passed down Weston's old bedroom set. Um, so we put the bunk beds in Willow's room, as you've seen, and that way, you know, if she ever wants to go in there and sleep with her sister, then she can always... Go in there and sleep with her. 
if they get to missing each other at night. Here's her closet, and like I said, hers is a bigger closet as well. It's walk-in because she has one of the bigger rooms. that's the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe I would greatly appreciate that um and I thought about doing maybe a tour of our property it's not like a ton of property or anything but it's more than what we had at our old place so if you are interested in that let me know down below we have like a creek down uh, behind our house I can kind of give you guys a little update on the chickens and the goats, let you see them um, in that video. Um, but yeah, just let me know and um, down in the comments so I can get to work on that if you guys want to see that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.